We're going to go ahead and take a look at number 39 from section 6.3, Applications of Linear Equations. If you do not have the textbook out in front of you, please go ahead and pause the video and go ahead and grab your book, something to write with, and something to write on. As we read through the problem, what I strongly encourage you to do is to record any important information you think will be needed in order to solve the question. So, ready? 39 reads, including 8% sales tax, an inn charges $162 per night. Find the inn's nightly cost before the tax is added. So what's the one thing that we don't know here? And hopefully you're thinking, okay, well, I don't know the cost of the hotel room specifically before taxes. Sorry, my one T got a little lopsided. And since I don't know what that is, I'm just going to say that I'm going to call it the variable H. H is completely arbitrary. You could have picked X. That's a pretty good standby variable choice. But we do know that after taxes, the hotel's cost is going to be $162. We also know that this is with tax. So this is the cost of the hotel plus an 8% tax. Well, do I know what the cost of the hotel is? And you're probably thinking no, or if you answered H, that would be fine. <clears throat> But then I need to figure out the tax here. Well, I definitely know that I'm adding it because as we all know, um, going into a store, you pay tax on everything. So um, tax is never really subtracted from your total. So with an 8% tax, in order to calculate that, that is going to be, let's convert that 8% into a decimal. And in order to calculate the dollar amount, we're going to multiply 8% by the cost of the hotel room. Okay. Hopefully, intuitively, that, that makes sense, that that's why we're going to do that. And then if we were to combine these two dollar amounts together, we will get 162. So if we were to clean this up, note that the coefficient out in front of this H here is a 1. So if we were to combine like terms, which we can on the left-hand side because both of them just have a variable of h, this becomes 1 and 8 hundredths times h is equal to 162. Now stop and think about that for a second, okay? I'm going to highlight this um, in a red. <clears throat> the 1 and 8 hundredths. Notice that that is... The 1 represents 100%, so the cost of the hotel, and the 0.08 is the tax. So if you wanted to jump to this step right away, um, you are more than welcome to do that. You do not have to start setting it up in this way. Both are saying the same thing. Um, the top line is just spread out a little bit more. <clears throat> so from here, we will go ahead and divide both sides by that 1 and 8 hundredths. And then we will have that the, the cost of the hotel room is going to be 162 divided by 1 and 8 hundredths. So the cost of the hotel room ends up being $150. And that is exactly what we were asked to solve for. So the cost of the hotel, so odds are what the hotel would provide in their advertisements. They would probably say hotel rooms running at $150. And then usually they add that mystery plus tax at the end. Um, but here's your solution. If you have any other questions, please feel free to come see me.